I'll just carry on as I go. So now you're looking for the exit. And then when I come back through as Wallace, then we can raid all the treasure boxes. Sweet. Yeah, you know, not bad for a useless dog. No, not bad at all. We're actually on the road to a full completion of the game, getting all the alchemy and everything. Hey! Because everything that we've missed so far, we can just go back and get later. Yes. But there's a couple but, things that you can't do that with. Watch that. That jerkiness is kind of trippy, dude. And it's it has to be because of that connection option. It's like that it must let be. Us we, I've never had that before till today. Because it's happening on my one as well. Except not right now, because it's only me playing. That must be very disorienting for you. It is. I, I feel like I, I'm in a like a constant state of disarray. <laughs> I feel like I'm lost in the summer breeze. At least the game itself isn't lagging though, and it's just the control trying to catch up. Yeah. Did I come back from this way? Yeah, I, re I recognize those pipes. I I'd recognize I those pipes anywhere. New game show. Where's my pipes? <laughs> You know there was a TV show, a very short-lived one in the UK, where a couple would be wanting to uh, win a car on the show, and the audience would have to vote to see if their characteristic matched the car. Okay. You can cut that short-lived. They thought that was a good idea. <laughs> That's kind of strange. It's like, I, I can't, I don't like sh any kind of show where they ask the audience's opinion of anything, because audiences are stupid. People on a whole as a big mass is stupid. <laughs> but especially, like, audiences, because an audience, what or an audience really is, is just a very organized, like, mob. Stupidity. <laughs> organized or just well-contained? I guess they're just well contained, actually. Because you know, those seats, they're not exactly big. They're probably, if you shuffle around in them too much, they'll, they'll probably cause your bum to cramp. I was reading an article about, like, Halloween contests and how they're designed recently, because Halloween was a couple months ago. Yes, I did that. One of the suggestions is to have a separate contest for people who wear sexy costumes, because a stripper in a wet t-shirt will always win over a crowd when they're just cheering to see who wins. Well, so, that's true. See, so you could, like, spend eight months building the best costume ever and then lose to a half-naked chick on stage. And so they have to have two contests. Well, you know what they say, sex sells. I've e been here before. Exactly, so... Well, exactly to the sex sells or exactly to me being here before? Sells Halloween contests, apparently. Look. I don't think you're making a lot of progress on this maze. No, I think that hard to find object was easier to get to than the exit. But I remember like the first time I played this game and I just zipped through this area and I didn't find anything. And then later I had read that I had missed it and I was like so upset. <laughs> I made that exact noise. <laughs> on the toilet this morning after I woke up. Right. Right. Okay. You said that for shock value, didn't you? I did. You didn't shock me. Because sex sells, but poop also sells. Go behind those bookcases, because... Ah, I told you. God, I'm smart. You could have said that earlier, smart ass. I didn't remember it until I just saw those bookcases kind of sitting apart from the wall. Yeah, that sounds real smart to me. Because you remember I talked to a guy who had like a clue about the back of a bookcase? Ah, see? Pay that's me paying attention. Well, you were a person then. It, wasn't this the way I came in? I, I believe so. 
but you know, if you just want to go back up there, that's fine with me. You know, that bookcase we were told to go behind by some smart person. It looks like you're getting there. Yeah. <laughs> Was that your frustrated noise? Yes. And also, I had a, a cashew nut stuck in between my toes, and it was very painful. Hey, look at those bookcases again. Yes, I know, but I'm looking around a bit more. Okay. I, I won't rush you. Dig as long as you need, but... Are you sure this was the way to go to the exit? Or was this leading to some... I said nothing about an exit. I just said check out behind the bookcases. Right. I'm just saying, the dude said, you have to see the backside of these bookcases. They are awesome. And then I saw some bookcases, and I'm like, hey, check them out, man. Okay. Well, I'm led to assume that there would be something behind these bookcases, else he wouldn't point them out in the first place. I, that would be a decent assumption, but as to what is behind the bookcases, I do not have that knowledge. Oh, this looks new. It does. There's some more pipes, but they're not the pipes you passed earlier. These aren't the pipes I'm looking for. Oh, sorry. I should have told that to someone who grew up with Star Wars. Yeah, you probably should have. Not some, no, nothing troglodyte who didn't live with anything in life. You know what I grew up with? I grew up with David Bowie's The Labyrinth. Ah, oh, that's a good film to grow up with. It is. I love I love that movie. I love that film as well. It is just, like, pure joy. <laughs> and pure crotch. Oh, here we go. Yep, there you go. Unskippable. We will have David Bowie to thank for that. Oh, there you go. Oh, so tell me, Mr. Wallace, what do you think of my new castle? <coughs> oh. Ow. Clean, immaculate, spotless, without flaw? Yeah, don't forget your Wallace voice. I can't do both at once, man. It's like... <laughs> I, I, I can't juggle that many balls in the air. We don't, know, we don't want to know what you're doing off camera. We just want you to voice these characters. Besides, I haven't done the Wallace voice in over a week and I forget what it sounded like. <laughs> it just sounds like a little kid who's, who's had like 40 packs of cigarettes oh, a day. that's right. Where's my meal? Does she start pounding on the table now? No. No. Yep, I told you. Who's responsible for this filthy beast? I want names! Names! And butter! <laughs> Bring me my tub of lard! She is a tub of lard. <laughs> <laughs> 